Hey, it's Jeff here with another Mighty Man Handyman moment. And today I'm going to show you a basic firebox. Now, I'm going to work with just some two foot long boards here that we got. This is rough sawed uh, pine here, I do believe, or spruce. It's one of two. Spruce pine. Uh, it's two inches thick, roughly, and 12 inches wide. And we got them in 10 foot long lengths. So, what we built. As you can see behind me here, the bigger version of it. And it was untreated. Well, now, let me explain this here to you real quick. If, like these ones behind us, we're going to be using them for vegetables. So you definitely want to go with an untreated board. Uh, just simply be, so you don't get the, the uh, chemicals there in the treated wood. I can't remember all of them right now, I can tell you, but... Um, you don't want all that growing into your vegetables, so you don't you want to avoid that. Now, if you're using it for a flower box, you know, just for uh, decoration purposes, then treat it with perfectly okay uh, if you like that. But I prefer this right here because we got this down at the local sawmill down here on Riverside here in Grand Junction. And what I like about this is regular lumber that you pick up at Home Depot, Lowe's, things like that, are going to be actually an inch and a half wide. This is actually real two inches thick. And so that's going to give us a few extra years of not rotting out, basically. And so basically all we're doing is cut it to length. And we're just going to square up the corners here. Get some screws here. And an impact screw gun is really good. And some three inch screws is great too. You just kind of line up the top, line up the sides. Get one going. Make sure you're good. Do another one. Uh, twist. Now I'm building this box here. And one wonderful thing, this is just a little 2x2 two two box. So you can eyeball this when it comes to leveling it up on the ground and everything like that. If you're doing bigger boxes like this, I suggest getting a level. So you get a little bit closer. I got within the within the lines where the bubbles in between the lines, and I said that was good. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect because they are just gardening boxes. So, hit it again. Now one thing, if you're going to go down to the sawmill and get some of this rough cut lumber that they have, you want to watch these ends. Uh, this end's pretty square, but uh, since it's rough cut, I've seen some ends that are kind of like really bad. So you want to square off those ends before you start. This is an end I cut, and you can see how smooth it is, and it's definitely square. This is the end they cut, and it looks like they basically used a chainsaw. So that's one thing to watch out for if you're going to go get some native lumber like that. Otherwise, if you get if you get a really out of square end, it's really going to throw off your work. Spin it one more time here. Line it up. What are you going to use this one for? Honestly, I do not know. It was just what I had left over. So, I don't know. It's a two by two by one foot deep flower box. I'll use it for something, but uh, I just thought I'd put it together and just have it. I'll use it for something somewhere. Show them the one you did around the deck. Oh, yeah. Let's go look at that one. So, this one's a little more elaborate. These are your basic. This is eight foot and two foot board. So, basically, I bought uh, ten footers and cut two foot off of it and assembled those and that made that let me grab this one screw over here <laughs> uh, if I know what I did with it. we're working on designing and landscaping our backyard yeah so basically all this bare dirt you see right here and I got I got a flag in the ground and 
and there's some sticks going along there and it's going to curve around right here all this is going to be graveled out we're going to do a fire pit not this one we're <laughs> going to do something a little more elaborate right here and probably right in this area too we're going to do a water rock feature which is basically we see we seen these uh, big boulders and they basically drill a hole right through the middle of it and you hook a pump at the bottom of it, a little tank down there to catch the water, and it just basically water bubbles up and flows over the top of the rock. It's real pretty, so we're gonna do something like that here. And some Adirondack chairs, and we'll be done over here. Yep. And then we're gonna turn this back into grass. I'm gonna put some uh, fruit, uh, fruit plants right in here, some blackberries, blueberries, things like that. But we did this up here. This is what we did around the deck here. So we're gonna put fill this all with dirt. We're gonna put some uh, tall grass in it, um, so it kind of provides a little more privacy right here, especially towards the hot tub. I do want to show you one other thing too. When you're spanning like these long lines like this here, something you want to do is get a board like this. As you can see right here, I just used a piece that I left over. <laughs> I put one in the top and one in the bottom of the screw. And that basically holds these two pieces together and just keeps them from giving on each other. And so that's that's something you might want to do, especially if you're going really long lengths, is to add a couple more of those in there just to hold it together. And then what I did on some of them down there is right here, just to hold them together, I put a screw at an angle, just basically like that, and just screwed to the bottom one. I can't see that screwed it into the bottom one just like that to hold together now that's basic fire box right there um, I got a little, little elaborate with this one I put a little side box on it we're gonna fill that with dirt and grow something as well so <laughs> so that's the basic box so this has been another mighty man handyman moment and we thank you for watching have a good